Good kitten internet. Uh, last time I somewhat abruptly stopped because I thought one of my cats had gotten loose, as in out of their room because I have to keep my cat separated. That was not the case. Zun was just being a very crazy kitty. So, um, I'm going to show you Creek Spire now, the fast way and the slow way. Um, I'm not super great at this. I want to put that out there as a warning. This is not one that I normally do super fast. Um, the rest of them I have done super fast before. So we'll see how well this works. So first thing I need to do is I need to get up here, up top, not down below. So you'll notice that on some of these sides, there's a little ledge with some windows. So my first objective is to get into those windows. Which I want to say is over here, then like this. Now this is the way out. That's right. I've already messed it up. Oops, and then I messed up the jump spell. There we go. Winter Hurricane just go away. Anyway, so up on the balcony up here somewhere, right here, is the switch. You need to hit that switch, and then leave, because this is the faster way of handling this. So we've left. Now we're just going to fly to Kriegspire. Technically, I could have walked out and around, but I think this is actually faster. Just go walk up the mountain, then back down the mountain, and walk into entrance proper. Starts you out easy, there's only a couple of minotaurs. Also, I should probably actually heal. And keep in mind, I could just be running through all of this, and I've decided against it. Um, let's go ahead and power gear up a little bit. Really, the Minotaur Kings are the only thing in here threatening to this party, because this is a lot easier to handle as a mage than it is as a fighter. Or a magic-based party versus a fight-based party. So, you'll hear the noise of the crystal, because it's right around the corner here. I'm going to deal with them in a moment. See? That opens up because of the button that we pressed. Then down here, there's the crystal. And because I'm lazy... Doink. Done. That's it. Again, each of these areas have a fast way of handling things. Cage. Roland's journal. I have hidden this letter here, hoping that it will be found by someone loyal to the crown. That I am even able to write it is a miracle. My captors were too stupid to take my writing materials, and I need many more miracles to survive this predicament. All my men were lost in the battle against the devils, leaving only Tanir, Ragnar, and myself alive. Lord Ragnar is in a bad way, and I fear he will not survive the night. Better for him, perhaps. Since we have not yet been killed, I'm guessing that we are being saved for something special. Whatever it is, as long as there is life, there is hope. They will probably carry Tanir and I from this awful place to another awful place to ransom us, or torture us for information. Whatever our fate, you, my loyal subject, must work to ensure the survival of the kingdom in our world. These devils are a threat much worse than Archibald ever was, and will require the most desperate of measures of defeat. Take those measures, even if it means releasing my evil brother from his tomb of stone. Above all, seek the advice of the Oracle in Freehaven. I hear my captors coming down the hall. Tell my wife and son I love them, and don't trust Sulman. He's a traitor. Good luck. Roland Ironfist, King of Inroth. So, that is Roland. So, this dungeon is basically meant for telekinesis. There's also a lot of horseshoes in here, which is nice. That's enchantable. That's enchantable. 
That's not. That's cell bait. That's cell bait. So, um, I should probably define what cell bait is to me. Because it's a little different for me for than some other people. By the way, this is a boss. Oh, not this one. Is it this one? That's the boss? No. There is a boss in here. It's actually a relatively difficult enemy too, and it's completely optional. And I'm bouncing again. This dungeon's probably getting pretty bad for bouncing. Once more, I can melee them because I can see them. Oops. Yep. Oops. I could have sworn the boss was here, though. Anyway, what you're supposed to do is just jump through there. Money. Horseshoe. That's actually nice, but empty, empty. Blue, green. Blue. Uh, who needs endurance at this point? You don't need it anymore. You also need endurance. Red, yellow, blank. Your might's high enough. Red, yellow. Anyway, I believe, yep, you just, so, there is a closet here. Where is it at? Here it is. This is the boss. All right, you ready for the boss? This is Lurk. He has 2,000 hit points. You know what we do to people that have 2,000 hit points? We hit them with as hard as we can with the most powerful magic that we can. In her case, it's Fire Blast. Yes. So that did 263 damage. That one did, I should probably have a running count of this. I'm going to do that. So just putting a notepad window over. Um, Do, 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 do. 263 from Fire Blast. Then we have. Is that 1494? Uh, okay. Then you are going to Shrap Metal. Trap Metal did not do that much damage. It did about 400, so 1096. Okay, you attack for 87. So 10, 1009, attack. You are going to Shrap Metal. Okay. Down to five nine at uh, five seventy nine. You see how this goes down really fast. Attack! Attack! Fire blast! Trap metal! Dead! By the way, that's supposed to be an extremely difficult battle. I'm just a wee bit overpowered for this place. Hi. Oops. Oh, one more up for the big guy. Oops. Success. More feed bags. Once more, again, they're expecting you to rest in these dungeons. Ah. I don't know why. Also, there's Raised Dead scrolls everywhere, which in normal game is just taunting you because Raised Dead doesn't actually do anything. It's on top of me. That's a no. See all the horseshoes? Oops. 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 I 
kind of like how they have those little holes. Because in this case, it almost makes sense for them to have it. Oops. Minotaur Kings can, in fact, use their instant death through the wall. They can also attack you back, because they have the correct height. The game's weird like that. And... Money, money, money. See, this is a much better loot dungeon than the last one. If only because those horseshoes... Oops, that's actually valuable. Um, those horseshoes are always helpful. Ha! What are you doing up there? How did you even get there? I don't think you're supposed to be there, but that's okay. Oh, hi. Okay, yep, I'm going turn base mode now. so weird. So each one of these larger circle rooms creates an encounter in there. And there are three types of enemies in this dungeon, just like every other. There's minotaurs, there's Agyar's pets, and there's drakes. How are you doing on it? You know what? It's going to be almost faster for me to actually fight you normally, because Ed's the only one even hitting anyone. Sad thing is, he is actually doing halfway decent damage, isn't he? That was a bit of a weird glitch. So in theory, you could actually do this dungeon without ever having to walk in the middle of those, unless if you go to the well. Then you have to walk in the middle. Which, I just wanted to grab the loot around the edges before I step foot in the middle, because some of these areas are actually genuinely difficult. There we go. Thank you for allowing me to grab you. Oh, looks like this might be one of those areas that I can cast jump through. Yep, I sort of can. Okay. Always wondered. So, let's go down and start exploring the areas to the right. Because there's definitely more minotaurs that you can't at attack from the windows. I do like how they added that. Also, oh, she doesn't have drain. So annoying. I really, really need to find something that allows her to drain hit points. Um, mine, Tilly. I already got that one, okay. I couldn't remember. Horseshoes. I don't think there's any horseshoes in this one, no. Ah, my cats are crying again. Oh, I could have cast Divine Intervention. Drat. Is there anything else down here? No? Okay, I'm gonna have to start triggering. Okay, this one I already triggered. It's good to know. One of these is going to be trouble. I think it might be this one? No. Also, I heard that die. Yeah, not messing around. Don't feel like getting instantly slain by things. Oops. Good job on the glitch. And that's the Minotaur Mage that I was seeing earlier. And I'm stuck. No, really. I'm stuck. Okay. Um, Void's Beacon, Recall Creek Spire. Go back in through the well again. I'm just going to go ahead and regular gear wounds her a little bit while I'm waiting. Okay. You feel strange with capital S. 
All right, this is the one that's going to trigger. No? I know I didn't trigger all of them. There we go. Drakes. And they're genuinely difficult, by the way. Because I can't do much damage to them while I'm on the ground. Which is why I'm jumping a bunch. Uh, there you are. Oops. Oops. Power care is fine. Somehow got shoved through a wall. There we go. Got those. Now let's go back here before I was so rudely shoved through a wall, basically. Um, whatever here. Yeah, it's here. And that teleported me back to the beginning. That's right, that was the quick way of handling it. I could have teleported back. Oh well. Doesn't matter at this point. Uh, it's up there, isn't it? I'm gonna get those stupid dead bodies if it's the last thing I do. How it did that, I have no idea. But that's okay. All right. This is not an easy area either. I'm gonna heal up a little bit first. Though honestly, I'm gonna heal up the faster way. Drop beacon. Not loads beacon. Town portal, new circle. I actually gotta finish this dungeon faster than Ba looks that way. I mean, there's more to it. There's actually an entire segment of the dungeon I haven't touched, but... Beacon, Recall, Castle Grey Spire. Okay. And so what we have to deal with is that mess. Also. Oh, darn it. I'm going to do this where I don't get exhausted immediately. Out of curiosity. I have 31 seconds. Let's go. Hour of power. There we go. Okay, so I have that mess to deal with. The problem is that they have height and I don't. So, we're gonna modify our strategies a little bit. We are going to be using Darkened Breath. We are going to use Fireball. And we are going to use Darkened Breath. Because this is very dangerous. The advantage is that they're all in one area, so it's not actually that difficult if you have the right spells. Otherwise, you just, I, I actually, in my test run to remember where in the world I needed to go, I walked in here and died, for reference. Or nearly died, I should say. I just didn't bother fighting them. That's not actually good. So, there's a treasure chest here. More horseshoes, and two enchantable doomsday cloaks. Although I'm pretty sure at this point, yeah, there's nothing else there. Uh, at this point, I'm pretty sure I have, I can't enchant something better than my cloaks, right? Nope, nope. Possible. I might be able to enchant something better, but that's a big if. So, let's go back over here. I'm gonna get that last dead body. Um, I actually don't know where the dead body is. I think it's actually embedded in the wall. Good job, game. And then let's go to the last spot over here, which is up here. Believe these are Aggars? Nope, I'm into our friends. 
Let's switch back to not kill me in the face spells. a neat thing over here. The Curator of Creekspire. For 10,000 gold you shall be healed. Get lost. So, if I remember correctly, let's see, 1485, 509. It drops your reputation by a lot. I'm just seeing how far it drops. It goes on forever. So that would have been actually a really quick way to drop reputation. I don't actually want to drop reputation though. So these don't look like traps at all, right? Arrow slits. Okay, and then we've got those drakes. Once more, with the correct spells, these are not that hard. But of course, I need to actually be on the top there. These aren't as greatly grouped as the previous set were, unfortunately. And this is why I actually healed before, is because oh, you broke a ring. These aren't as greatly grouped as they were before. Also, yes, there's stuff underneath me. That's not what I was aiming at, game. Fireball. Yep, it's Aguiar's fun. Yeah, they're split apart just enough. I need to deal with these fun first. Luckily, the drakes don't actually do that much damage. There's not enough of them here. Okay. Now they're actually clustered a little bit better. Okay, those are flame drakes, so... That's not going to do much damage. That wasn't the... I meant to do lightning bolt, not ice bolt. I are smart, I swear. And him, ice bolt will work just fine. That was 110 damage from an ice bolt. Uh, fist to the face. Set my ready spells back to things that won't kill me. You're actually low on spell points, so I'm going to switch you to Fire Blast. You're going to Fire Blast, and you're going to go to Trap Metal. Yes. Ring. All right. Okay. It's all bait actually at this point. Drakes have a very low chance of dropping items. Also, all of the items back here are garbage. All right. uh -huh. I mean, all of them. And there's some money that's useful. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But the whole point was to lure you over here with, holy crap, look at how much money everything has. And then you go, oh, there's nothing here uh -huh. that I care about. And most of this uh -huh. isn't even enchant bait. In fact, I don't think any of this is enchant bait. Nope. Nothing's enchantable out of this. Not worth picking up. Alright, I'm gonna hop down here. Loot the rest of this. Once more, we have an enemy that I can't loot. Because that's the way this game works. Because things falling through the universe. 
I'm basically only using my magic against things that can instantly kill me. To be honest, none of these are threatening. This ties back over here. This over here is the last bits that I have. Again, the Minotaur Kings can actually hit me. No one else can. For reasons. And that one's running away from me. Oops. Chalk one more up for the big guy. And there are no more enemies. That's a scroll of Ray's dead. I am in condition green for the entire place. Loot's actually not bad here, for the most part, but, ugh, I could have done so much more. These crystal quests, you can tell which ones were, um, jeweled egg. I didn't pick that quest up. I completely forgot about the jeweled egg quest. Who was it that wanted that? I think that's in Creekspire. Yeah, this lets you take a look into the arena area. Jeweled egg. I'm pretty sure that was in Creekspire, but there was something weird about that. Oh, that's right. The reason why I forgot about this is that you actually can't enter this room normally. So that's the other major glitch of the game is that um, in the base release, you could really enter that room. In the other releases, you can't because you can't open the door. So. Oh, where in the world was Jeweled Egg at again? I want to say that's Creek Spire, but I'm actually going to look that up. Jeweled egg. Jeweled egg is in. Yep, that is correct. It is in village, the village near Great Spire. All right. I must just not have talked to everybody there. That's fine. Let's beacon back to Great Spire again. And talk to people. Who would have thunk? You? You're an expert healer. Hello. You're a counselor. You're a useless tower. So Hello, the spot? You nope, you're a light magic expert. Hello, you? You're an instructor. Hello. Teacher. How are you today? There you are. I was one of the mages studying at Kriegspire when the creatures went completely out of control. In my escape from the castle, I left a valuable item behind, a jeweled egg. This egg is a family heirloom that goes back in my family as far back as the silence. I have tried a few times to get it back, but the creatures there are too powerful for me. I'd gladly trade a generous sum of money to get my egg back. Thank you for returning the egg to me. It's the most precious thing I have. Here, have 5,000 gold. That's not great. But it does give rep increase, so that's nice. All right, we finished Greek Spire. It's been less than a half an hour. Oh, um, something I keep forgetting to mention: a fool is the. And so you'll notice that. Uh, no, sorry, it's not fool. It's jester is the one that I wanted to point out. But jester is one of the types of NPCs. That you can hire but they don't actually do anything like if you tell them to join it's like just throw me a few bits of food and i'll be happy um what they actually can do is give you jokes every day it's the only npc in the game to do that anyway um i should probably actually drop off things first off let's oh i can't heal anymore well, if I would have known that, I wouldn't have bothered TPing here. Freehaven. We only have one more of these horrific places to go. 
And it's dark more. Oh. I hate dark more so much. I don't really want to do that tonight, do I? All right, this one I haven't dropped one off at yet. I don't know why I keep running back. It's not like anything's gonna have been beneficial. Let's go to Silver Cove to restore as much MP as I can. There we go, that's as much as MP as I can. Um, we're really lacking in things to do at this point, aren't we? So let's go ahead and take a look at our quest log. We've found Memory Crystal Alpha, Beta, and Epsilon. Delta's the only one left. This is also in Castle Darkmoor. That's it. That's all we have. I'm genuinely thinking about just leveling up again rather than going through that horrible place. Um, how far are we experience-wise? We can level up to 74. So we can level up 14 times. I would like to level up a little bit more than that. There's not much else for me to do. So since I'm not going to start Dark more right now, we're going to go back dragon hunting again. This is how I'm basically spending time on my episodes is dark and hunting. Except, I'm thinking I want to go to Hermit's Isle. Nah, let's go dark and hunting. Okay, I didn't do any more dark and hunting after the end of the last episode for reference, so... I only killed one of those dragons. actually faster for me to run up and melee them at this point, I think. Okay. Meteor shower. Meteor shower. Attack. And you are going to darken breath. Okay. One breakage here, two breakage on the mage. Ten hit points. I dealt two damage. Good job, me. And yeah, I have attracted a lot of attention. Yeah, that definitely needs to go back there. You die. Are you kidding me? Why am I doing so little damage? I have no idea. Okay. I've bit off more than I can chew from that ankle. So I'm going to go fly a little bit around. And bite this one, actually. You are in melee range! Ha 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 ha! You fool. As good as new. Now I'm actually doing enough damage. And you break two things. So, first thing new. broken. Second thing broken. Not the electric resistance. Anything but the electric resistance. Oh, I've got more broken stuff. That's two on the first and last characters. I don't care about those right now. Okay. This is a bit much. Okay, got that. Calvary's here. Let's fly away for a bit. Also, let's waste a lot of hit points. Mm, wasn't a complete waste, actually. Power gear up a little bit. Go 
everybody out back to green. Are you in range? Barely. And they're flying on top of it. Ugh. That's why I don't like fighting them when they're in the air. It ends poorly for me. It's only a 35 minute video still. Should make it at least slightly longer, right? Uh, what else can I do? It's the middle of the night, so I can't heal. Um, I'm pretty sure I can't even enter Varn right now, right? I was not expecting to be able to actually enter. We're not going into Varn yet, because that's a dungeon for after the Crystal Quests. And... We can probably handle it. I mean, to be honest, we can probably handle everything in this game at this point. Not probably. We can handle everything in this game at this point. I just wanted to move around so I would reset the position of the dragons. spell on and uh, they're out of my range for the ICBM anyway a lot harder to use the ICBMs with this limited range thing and I'm weakened again because it's three in the morning yep all because I don't sleep and my reputation dropped again Your weakness. I'm actually trying to get the dragon closer also. Oh, I should have been tacking. What the heck am I doing? Not your cloak. That gives you hit points. Your weakness, you. Now I'll just actually attack instead. Your weakness yourself. The little damage I do with arrows at this point is the reason why I stopped using them. And I just run up and melee, which is a problem because those goopers are coming. You broke stuff. Anybody else break stuff? Well, I didn't notice. Nope. I might as well fix this while I'm at it. Screw it. Trap metal works against everything. Well, everything not immune to physical. That is actually doing enough damage. Yes. So, Eleven seventy-five. It's Ugh. It's only doing one hundred and fifty damage a shot. Or one hundred and sixty. That's not so great. Yeah, I meteor showered myself. Good job, me. As good as new. Yeah, you're gonna need that. Okay. Yes. 
Sun Kitty, what in the world are you doing? You switch over to trap owl. Yeah, much better. See, I can hunt things with trap battle. The problem is that I need spell points. I mean, these divine magic potions are two trap battles basically. Oh right, fire blast is not going to do much good against a red dragon. Good job, brain. Right, you still actually don't have very good gauntlets. Um, let's see. Sparks. Yes. Sparks. Sparks. Drop metal is way better. I've got a bunch of flying Dargons left, and not a whole bunch of magic. Yeah, doesn't Dark Containment cost 200? Yeah. There's no way I have enough for that. I definitely don't have a hundred. Uh -oh. I'm still missing Ice Blast. Ugh, mass distortion? getting a little dangerous for me. See, I can kill dragons in other ways. I'm just not very good at it. Oh, I still have sparks up. Whoops. You're gonna switch to Fire Blast, so I actually have MP. Um, I'm gonna have you switch to Flying Fist, I guess. 25 versus 50. Ugh, still terrible, but yeah. whatever. Actually, I probably could just have you melee. Oh, damn it, I keep forgetting to move Sparks out of the way. Okay, got that. Only got two more of these goobers left. You're injured. I'm just gonna melee you. Any swiftness items? Okay, now I've got this thing. Fire lizards are not exactly threatening. I would love to melee you for reference. But I'm not gonna. Oh, you're still around. Didn't even notice you there. Um, let's swap weapons back. And start meleeing the crap out of you. There we go. Taken care of. See, I can still Dargon Hunt without having to resort to Meteor Swarm. It's just more involved. Alright, let's go ahead and loot a couple of things. One two-handed sword. Plate armor. All right. 
helm, mace, broadsword. All right. Oh, all right. None of these are useful so far. Cloak, amulet, leather armor, longbow. Oh. Oh. Aha. Not worth it. Let's try this again. Basically, gonna hit all of them, or until I get an artifact. No, nope. amulets are gonna be really hard for me to justify. Hard shield, longbow. All right. That longbow is actually pretty good. it to her. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, the rest of this is garbage. Mace, amulet. All right. Mace of the gods, oh. amulet of thought, and another All wand. Right. I will hold off on that. Long dagger plate mail. Uh, oh. Plate mail of the gods. It's worth money. Something I don't need. All right. Belt of speed. Amulet of oh. accuracy. Plate mail of the gods again. Wand. I don't All care right. what it is of. Helm. Oh. Boots. Oh. And yet another plate mail. None of this is useful. Let's try that again. Chain mail. All right. No, no matter what, chain mail is not going to be useful. Relic. Oh. And we have Poseidon again. Um, we actually saw Poseidon before in the video that got corrupted. Um, basically, Poseidon's the strongest melee attack weapon in the game. It is a lot of damage. It's 2d6 plus 15, plus 20 might, plus 20 endurance, plus 20 accuracy, but minus 10 armor class and minus 10 speed. The speed penalty, I mean, those penalties aren't that nasty, but it's mostly the fact that spears can be used in one-handed or two-handed, so you can actually make this a one-handed weapon. Um... Reloading because I have no use for a spear in this particular All right. one. Yet another fire element one. Relic. Oh. Hera. This is a really simply good one for certain characters. So sometimes referred to as the Amulet of the Fool, this curious relic from before the silence dramatically increases the personal vitality, magic energy, and luck of the wearer at the expense of personality. While the armor is worn, the face goes slack, the eyes vacant, and the voice subsides to a monotone. Plus 50 HP, plus 50 spell points, plus 50 luck, and minus 50 personality. So that is a great amulet for her. There is a downside. Now uh, let's quick save. I'll show you what that downside is. But she has to loot something. Hold on. Let me make sure she has enough inventory space. Naturally. Yes. Oh, no. That must be a different one. Anyway, let's load from that quick save. I'm keeping Hera. Hera is actually a good item. I mean, the only thing that would have been better is if I would have found another Morgan. Mm. Although, honestly, Hera is still decent for her. Because it's still plus 50 hit points. Even if the spell points and luck are kind of useless, it's still helpful. Also, her personality is 6. <laughs> Wand. 
belt, two handed axe, chain mail. All right. All right. Oh. Two handed axe, ring, belt. Leather armor. And we can do better than that. Spear. Small shield, amulet, plate, belt. All right. Oh. All right. All plate, right. Belt. All right. Still not great. Relic. All right. Aphrodite. Yay, Dighty. Plus 100 personality, minus 40 luck. The silly thing is that this is actually not that useful for me at this point. So, give you an idea. Let me rearrange my rings really fast so I can actually show you what I'm talking about. So. This gives me 10 spell points. Look at how big of a difference in personality I'm getting. I get 10 spell points out of this. I'm still keeping it because Dighty. Desired and sought after by the foolish for ages, this beautiful ring smooths the skin, clears the voice, and dramatically improves the physical beauty of its wearer, as well as enhancing the personality. The ring also carries a curse of ill luck, and the wearer usually dies of some tragic accident soon upon finding the ring. Um, I mentioned this in a comment, but luck, what the stat actually does for you is that it will, um, whatchamacallit, um, secretly increase your resistances. So my resistances are actually significantly higher than what they appear. Just the game doesn't tell you that. Anyway, that's actually a good relic. So it's not great, but it's, right. I'm going for better than what I have, basically. <sighs> Those are not good things. Slowed, quick save. Two-handed sword, halberd. Artifact, plate. Plus 30 endurance, hip recovery, and hit point regeneration. So, yes. Pelinor is definitely better than what I was wearing. So basically it's the same thing except I get plus 30 endurance and it's of recovery. So that's worth me picking up and keeping. That heavy poleaxe is not. <laughs> crown. Ooh, be useful. That's actually a nice crown, but yeah, I already have better everywhere. All right. Just, just about done looting. Mostly because our inventory space is full, and we are approaching an hour again. Um, hammer. Uh -huh. Enchant bait, which is not all that needed right now. Other armor, oh. longbow. Enchanted Supreme Axe. No. Book of Learning. Another Mass Distortion. Okay. For that being an Earth spell, it seems to be frighteningly common. Leather Armor of Speed. Longsword Wand. Are you kidding me? A regular longsword. This game's trolling me now. Book of Learning. It's the exact same book. That's weird. Chainmail. Which, no matter what, is not going to be better than what I have. Crown. Plate. That plate's actually pretty good. But now I have an artifact plate. I have no need for regular plate. 
and a jeweled dagger of acid. 12 points of poison damage. Actually, you know what? I am just going to leave those there. And I will be done. Ah, uh, Zone the Kitty has decided to jump up and start crying. No, I don't want to fast travel. Or not fast travel, slow travel. Zone Kitty has decided to grace me with her present with his presence. He is stepping on my mouse again. He's knocking around the camera. Uh, really, cat? <laughs> I know you love me and all. But Maybe you should not block the camera. I'll enter turn-based mode, so you're not going to disrupt me too much. Why don't you just stay in my lap? I like kitties in my lap. You like being in my lap, usually. Hold it. We're going to start and end today's videos with you being a shoulder kitty? I think we will. Good night, Internet. I will see you tomorrow. Uh, where we'll, oh, I guess the next videos have to be dark more because there's nothing left in the game for me to do. Also, I don't know if you could even hear me while Zone was deciding to be a parrot. Um, t next video is going to have to be dark more because it's the last thing we have left, unless if I want to go hunt titans, which kind of tempted to do, but whatever. Oh, also, um, I think we leveled up again. Yeah. We're up to 15 levels now. Anyway, bye. <sighs> oh, you're a sub-soft kitty cat. Mm-hmm.